Sometimes I do just want to push the phones out of the way and look in their eyes and go, listen to me, feel it. My fan base are a lot of young women, like young girls that don't really know how to live without their phones yet. And I think that's one of the things that I try, I try and be really honest about, even down to things like cellulite and feeling unwell and being sad and normal things that, you know, every woman goes through that people sometimes feel afraid to ex expose their flaws because they live through an edited page of themselves. I actually said on stage the other night to these two little girls, they're about eight years old, I said, you're going to really regret having an achy arm because you're going to watch that back and all you're going to be able to hear is <coughs> We live in a moment to share a moment as opposed to living in a moment to remember a moment. And sometimes the beauty of just taking it in and just remembering how you felt and the smell and the atmosphere and the person next to you and is more exciting than trying to get the best frame to, to post online. And if I'm honest, that's why sometimes I have moments where I, I disappear off Instagram and then I'll post loads and then I don't and because I go through little moments of how I feel. Even last night, for example, I changed the lighting and I purposefully stood at the front of the barrier, not being on stage, with the spotlight that I've added in my eyes to see if I could keep my eyes open and I could. And they were going, <sighs> and I went, feel it, take it in. And they let go and they were like, you know, and, it, and sometimes people just need a little bit of a, a push to sit on the top of the mountain and go, wow. But it's because a lot of people live to share yeah. as opposed to living for themselves.